restaurant right here at the corner is the best restaurant to go to. No, it is No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just uh, agree. <laughs> So it's been more than 30-something years that I've been living in Uptown. My name is Carvalho Dale Elizabeth Falana Johnson. I am not going to tell my age, you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been here a while, and I have two children, eight grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. My name is Lois Ellington. I've been in Uptown 56 years. I have five children. They've been here 38 years. My name is Rita Ezell, and I was in Uptown twice in 1986 to 1990, and I came back in 1994, and I, in, and I was in the Hoist Building. I've been in the Hoist Building ever since. When I moved in, I was a preteen. My oldest son was born in the same building where I'm still living at. <laughs> we were the first tenants to move in, and then little by little, everybody started moving in, but we were the first. <laughs> we moved from Cabrini Green in 1969, 1970, so we've been in the boys' building ever since. Wow, that's, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's name is Florence Buckner. Um, she moved here from Edison, Illinois. Uh, she came out a community activist. There was so much going on, Black Panther uh, movement, you know what I'm saying, to keep strong. Uh, we was always participating in something, you know what I'm saying, in order to, you know, make this uh, community a little bit better. And this is Edna Johnson. This is my mother, rest in peace. What did um, they call your mom? The cake lady. So she was considered <laughs> the cake lady. So when she passed and we had her funeral up here, it was, it was, it was just so packed that there was no room. She's always with me no matter where I go. Wherever I, I'm taking her with me, if she's not up here, she's always here. Amen. Really, all I know is with voice of how we used to just, because it was such a family unit organization type thing where everybody, the community was the family. Mm -hmm. And we all knew everybody, we knew each other, the parents. Parents knew the children, if you did something wrong, it's like, oh, now you know, you know I'm gonna to talk to your mom. <laughs> and, that, and that was good, that kept us in line. Really that I like about our time too, it's the rest of you know, you got all kinds of, all nationalities, all, all kinds of nationalities. right. Yes. You have to see them in the store, you know, you can say hi, Hello. some of them don't speak mm -hmm. English, but Man, you know, that's they okay. understand, and um, that's what makes uh, Uptown unique. Yeah, that we, 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 we can communicate with everybody whether we speak the language or not. Yeah. Just simply saying a hello, a wave of the hand, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. The uptown here. That's mm -hmm. a major landmark. Yes. Like you were talking about all the development. Why wasn't that the news for that? To renew it, to revamp it. Yeah, they did a lot of concerts there. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the place to go. We didn't have to worry about parking. Right. And just come out our door, walk on down the street. Out the train, right there. going, that's it. Yeah, just charge your friends when they come. <laughs> you know, to park up your parking spot. <laughs> oh. Remember how we used to leave the uh, back door, uh, the side doors open? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, when well, we walk come in, in for the people theaters. sneak in. <laughs> but that, that was the was in those days people. where Not a lot of people, people couldn't. Yeah, well, hey, come <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I ain't saying that we was all good. Now they're coming back at you. We you're did see some. Some days, some days. But that's okay. Some might have made it. It's some days, some days. <laughs> it's in the past. It's still there, you know? The skeleton is still there. But I mean, they should fix it. Yeah. Should do Put it to you. All bring money, money back into the neighborhood. Bring it all back. Rainbow. Um, Rainbow pears, uh, coconuts, pizza, clubs, Miss Ollie's. Um, what else was right up in the state park? They used to have a rock like uh, Winthrop, which is called the Winthrop Pioneers. What was that? The Winthrop Pioneers, the, the, the rock that I showed you. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. 
They have been there so long, you know. Uh, yes. The memories. You me? Yeah, man. Yeah. Basically, yes, the memories. But you always got it. You always got it there, girl. <laughs> yeah. You know, of course, I'm really dedicated to Jackie Taylor and the Black Ensemble Theater because I get to go see the plays and they have a New Year uh, program that is really nice. You know, she just took my son and she just mentored him, so that's definitely one of my spots. These are the women that led us to where we are today. <laughs> so these are strong women. That's why I say these are the women of Uptown and Voice, because they were part of Voice. They were a big part of Voice. Miss Virginia, who is here, that was the nosy neighbor of the building. But that's okay, I love it, because when I left home, she was watching the whole, everybody's apartment. She knew who was coming in that gate, who was leaving out, what interest they were going into. I had no problem with her. I, I love them, like, yeah, when I'm getting ready to leave somewhere, one. she would let me know, and I'll let her know, okay, Virginia, I'm leaving, so, you know, can you keep an eye on things? And a person named Cor Corina, <laughs> she did not play. She was awesome. And I'm telling you, when she was around, those builders became tip-top chefs. So I have, to, I have to give these people their props. Oh, Gotta give them their props. Without them, I would not be here. I'm still grateful that y'all still able to be around, you understand, to assist us in the near future. You know, I was thinking, why don't we all, since we here, why don't we just uh, get together, kind of talk about, you know, the different things that kind of needs to be done, and, you know. It sounds like you're talking a lot about the tenant leadership of the past. Exactly. Right? These are the pioneers. I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm going to keep coming back to these people. <laughs> and these are the next generation of the next pioneers just to go. We are the ones that has to show the, way. the next generation right. that even though it's hard, it can be done. Just got to do a little hard work.